What is going on, guys? It is Rex here. Welcome back to another one versus one rank duel. Today, we are going to be giving a quick look at the brand new uh, rework of Archmage's gem. Um, they say rework, although it's... I don't know why they title it as a rework. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But now... They, so they decreased the scaling, obviously. That much was uh, a given. But they's, they've also made it so that... Um, uh, now it only uh, hits on the god. Okay, next hits an enemy god. Okay, good. Um, now when it hits an enemy god, it's only when it procs, as opposed to always being, you know, like the first thing that it hits. Which, in and of itself, is kind of like... It's back and forth between... Because in some instances, in some situations, it could be considered an, uh, a buff. But in other situations, it could be considered a nerf, right? Because you're not able to clear minions as easily. But realistically, late game, when you have that, I think the more... The biggest concern... I think the biggest concern, more than anything, would straight up just be, you know, wanting to hit an enemy god. Oh my god, I blocked it down. Would be wanting to hit an enemy god. As opposed to, you know... Clearing a, a fucking little wave at the end game. What the fuck are you doing, Jonathan? Are you though? So speaking of that, oh my god. Okay, I need your guys' help. Like, I genuinely need your help. Oh my god, dude. So, I love Snubble to death. That much is obvious. I love him. Like, he's literally like my son. Like, he's a little baby. And you guys know I love Snubble more than anything in the world. Um, goes without saying. Now, the problem that I'm having is that, like, Snubble's lost a lot of weight. Like, I've tried really hard. It's really important to him, like, as especially as he's getting older. Again, it's important to me that, you know, he... He loses weight. You know, I, him being, like, obese. He was never obese. He was definitely a little overweight, and he needed to slim down, slim down a couple pounds. You know, goes without saying. But... Oh my god, bro, you gotta chill out. Woo! But, the problem, if, for those of you that don't have a cat, Whenever you don't fucking feed your cat, like, I have to, like, teach him that, you know, you're not allowed to just eat as much as you want. Because the problem why I even had weight to begin with was because my stupid parents would open feed him, right? They would just literally fill his food bowl up to the brim every time he wanted, like, he was hungry. Like, for the cats. And now our poor little other kitten is just, like, a chubby little shit now. And, like, my parents just laugh about it. It's like, they're fucking terrible with animals, man. Honest to God. They don't know how to take care of them. Um, but ever since then, like, Snubble's lived with me. Um, you know, I've been very adamant about keeping him on a strict that he has to have certain fiber-based, low-calorie food. Um, now I give him soft food just because of his digestion issues. Um... Along with his medicine, of course. But, anyways, I digress. The problem is, is that, like, ever since, you know, he's been losing weight, and, he, you know, he's more hungry all the time, he's just used to the open feeding, the motherfucker, like, is so annoying for food in the morning. But I can't just feed him. I can't just give him food, or he wins. Like, he needs to, like, understand that certain times are eating times and sometimes aren't. But the little cunt, every fucking morning, every morning, he will scratch, like, I'll be trying to sleep, I'm a really light sleeper, and he fucking knows that. So what he does is he goes, I need to find something here. Okay, bad example. Anyways, like, he scratches onto, like, my dresser. Or just something around the room. Anything that he can find that makes, like, a crinkling sound or any noise. He will just, he'll just smack the shit out of it! Like, smack, 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 smack to wake me up! And dude, it's, it's, it, it's so annoying. Like, I have earplugs, but he's genuinely so loud. 
that I can't I can still hear him through the earplugs oh and anyways the reason I'm getting into that is because dude like <laughs> I've had such terrible sleep especially last night man I just I woke up so pissed off it's just angry Oh my god, it's three. Really, I don't have mana for that. I, less from my rival. I literally can't stop smiling every time that goes off. Anyways, I'm fucking cranky right now. Like, I've got a fucking massive pounding headache. Ugh, I even have a spray bottle, dude. I literally will spray him. Like, I didn't want to resort to that, but I had to because it's like... Sleep is important, man. Getting your eight hours and, like, consistent REM sleep is very important. And, like, I woke up, I've just had a headache all morning. Been in a bad mood, and it sucks because, like, I was in such an amazing mood yesterday. All day. Like, I don't know what to do, man. Like, if I close my doors, I hear him go, smack, 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 on the doors. Like, maybe, like, and he also likes cuddling at night, and I don't want to be like, no, you're not allowed to cuddle, fucking asshole. Like, I want to spend as much time with him as I can, and he's cute and everything, and it's just, oh, <laughs> I don't do. <laughs> but yeah, he's a little cocksucker, man. I don't give a fuck. Okay, Jesus. Oh my God, he could have killed me there. Uh, I don't know, man. Love him to death, I really do. It's just affecting my sleep so much. And he's got a strategy now. So number one, when he's really hungry, all I hear is this. He fucks with the door stopper. When I have earplugs in sometimes, because he knows that I can hear it. Maybe I need better earplugs or something. I wonder if I could find some good ones online. I have some really shitty ones. Um, but he has this strategy, which is so fucking annoying. Like, in the mornings, so, Snowball understands that I like to cuddle with him, and he likes being cuddled, right? He's a cat, he likes attention and everything. But what this little fucker does, is he comes into my room, right? Smacks the shit! Until I wake up, and even I, if I yell at him, he won't stop. I literally have to spray him, or get up and chase him away. And when I do that, I chase him away, or I spray him, and he runs off. He comes back five seconds later. Not five seconds later. Oops. And then jumps in the bed, and then comes for... And tries to get cuddles, and he just lays on my arm. And I pet him, and he keeps me awake, because I'm like, well, I don't mind. I love petting him and everything. And he's all super cute, and he just, like, lays on my arm, and he's purring and everything. But, the little cocksucker, the second that he's, like, uh, he finished cuddling... Oh my god, I'm so bad. He fucking goes down on the ground and starts smacking the shit out of shit again! He just does it again! So I have to spray him off! So he leaves! And then he comes back for more cuddles! He just thinks that he can, like, coax me with manipulation. He's a little fucking shit. He's literally a, a manipulator. He's a smart little asshole, but, oh. I gotta call me a pansy, though, bro. Like, oh, it's exhausting, man. You heavily commit to fights. Think he stood a chance against you? I just want to sleep, and he's a little shit. Anyways, hello. How are you guys today? I hope you're doing good. Maybe my workout will make me feel a little better. I'm going to the gym here later. Um, I'm having a decent day. I'm having a pretty crappy morning, just because I've got a headache and I feel tired. Ugh. Oh, I'm dead 
is a fucking doorknob. Oh no, I'm fine. Nice. Oh, you're gonna commit to this. I don't wanna die. Yay! The best laid plans of my Perfect. Often go Probably go horrific. Yeah, I hope you're doing good. I, also, this uh, video is sponsored by G Fuel, of course. Not G Fuel, sorry. G Sups. I hate the name, G, like, G, like G Fuel. Because it's like, everything's gamer fuel. Like, it's all technically gamer fuel. To a degree. Like, it's made for gamers. It's made for gaming. And it's fuel like caffeine. It's just... <sighs> but yeah, sponsored by Gamer Sups. Link in the description. Code Rexy, 10% off. And free shipping. I have tons of flavors here. I even got these like waifu fucking... Awesome cups. Pretty sick. You should back. I very highly doubt I can get this though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Alright, for seconds your ob shard in case he goes more defense. Not sure if he will, but it's worth it anyways. Then in the Chronos Pendant, maybe? I don't think I need a Reaver. Heal with all that HP, but... Should be okay. Oh, you boy's dying. Listen, buddy, I also need this game to get level 20, if you don't mind. What the fuck are you doing? Too easy. I get this and then move up. I can't. I need this game to get level twenty though for the new Archmage's gem. Maybe I, I won't get the Phoenix yet. If I kill him again, he may have six. It's the problem. Bubble fence. Let's fucking go. It's perfect. If I fight you, you're gonna have sex. So I'm not fighting you. Go back to base. Okay. I see sometimes on, on threads and stuff like that that some people don't prefer my content because I'm less informative, I guess. But, I mean, realistically, man, it's like I've explained this time and time again. Um, I, I, I know that being informative can be nice, especially for newer players. But I feel like... I don't know. Playing at a top level for so long... And explaining everything that happens every single fucking game would get so tiresome. And it did, when I used to do commentary. Because before I knew how to do commentary, the easiest strategy to just doing commentary, right? When you're not actually good at doing commentary, is literally just talking about what the fuck is happening in game. I, when I sucked at doing commentary, all I would do was just explain what I was doing and why. Because I just wasn't good at it. Um... I'm not saying, obviously, that anyone that explains what they're doing is, is bad at commentating or anything by any means, no. I'm just saying, at, at least for Duel especially, like, when I first started making content... Oh my god, he's quick. When I first started creating Duel content, every single day, I would record, and I would go, Okay, so I'm actually gonna back here because we're gonna get second tier Chronos Pennant. Second tier Chronos Pennant? Um, it's gonna give us an additional 60 magical power, which could be the big difference in these fights. We're gonna use our three for a little bit of extra mobility to get back in the lane. Once we clear about one more wave, we should be getting close, maybe not exactly close enough, to Conduit Gem. Red spawning here relatively soon, with our Ob Shard when he finishes this, which is most likely Pestilence. Um, we may even have to go into a Soul Reaver, because of the amount of HP that he has. But, we can consider that when the time comes. For now, we're gonna clear this wave. Back. Alright, we're gonna chill, wait for Red. Make sure you're able to get level 20. <clears throat> like, with Duel, it's like, oh, well, I know we'll, he's gonna be right here. 
based on how far away he is from the fountain, or, like, he could probably be right here based on the timing of the, the blue spawning. It's fucking boring, man. Like, it's... The infra... Like, if you're looking to learn in duel, bro, all right? Like, I say this time and time again, the biggest piece of advice I can give you, it's not about just letting someone fucking hold your hand, okay? It's not about, like, little, little things. Like, I still do... I still give tips, right? I still, I'll explain in, like, to some degree what I thought in a certain situation, why I did a certain thing sometimes, especially in intense engagements. I'll go over what happened and what I did incorrectly or correctly sometimes, right? But the biggest thing you can do to learn is literally just pay attention to what someone's doing and, and ask yourself, why are they doing this? Instead of having someone spoon feed it into your mouth, like, you don't need Goo Goo Gaga Daddy fucking Rexy to just tell you, Ooh, well, I'm killing the Bull Demon now because the, it, it'll, it'll disable the Phoenix! It's like, no, you don't need that shit, alright? All you need to do is ask yourself, okay, why is Rexy going down this way as opposed to going straight up here? The reason being is because of the wave. Okay, well, it was a little late on the wave, but... Because I wanted to catch with the wave and make sure that my minions were able to make it up. That was my thought process. Now, all you have to do is apply that that same thought process, is when you watch a video, think what the person's doing correctly, or why they're building something, or why they're doing this, why are they doing that, you know? Aimed it at the wall, so I was able to hit him regardless, I still have that. Two, just in case he ults. Keep our distance, while I slow him. Poke him from a distance, he already used his dash, all we have to do is keep poking him. Clear the wave. There we go. Anticipate that by staying in the light stance. We still have anti on we'll slow him. They're horrific. We still have shell, so we're just gonna keep going. And then we're gonna shell when his wears off. Hit him with a three, auto attack into the one, one more. Ah! No, my only weakness. See, if I had Kronos Pendant, that would have worked a lot better there. The lack of cooldown kind of fucked me. Because as you can see, I had to wait for my other abilities to come up before I was able to do anything. Cooldown's very important. But yeah, man, like, it's. it's like, not only ask. The YouTuber, like, or the person you're watching, why are they doing this, why are they doing that? You just, when you start playing, ask yourself this. Ask, you have to ask yourself what you're doing correctly, what you're doing incorrectly. Like, yes, little bits of information, especially when you start, is good. But dude, you're not gonna get anywhere by just watching, like, listening to someone explain how to do something, and then when the situation comes, you're just gonna be like, Okay, so Rexy said, basically, in this exact situation, I'm gonna do this, so what I need to do is, is specifically do this, and then do this. You're not gonna remember all that shit, man. Like, you're not gonna remember every little fucking tidbit, and every little fucking engagement. You are not, my friend. It Memory does not work like that, alright? So to the people that, like... I don't know. I feel like the people that, you know objectively look at, you know, YouTubers for, for learning and whatnot. Like, to some degree, obviously, like, Conquest is more complicated, you know. I'm gonna three for mobility. Slow there, three again for the mobility. Heal a little bit off that wave. Slow him. Still maintain our distance, though. Heal back up. There we go. I'm dead, though. Oh, I got my life. You will improve more as a player if you more so question yourself and what you're watching as opposed to just having it spoon-fed to you. Little useful things, like maybe rotations, map awareness. There's only so much you can learn, man, on your own, or by watching someone. I learned that back in the day. I used to, you know, watch YouTubers to help me learn. I did the same fucking shit. But if you want to actually become, like, a much better player, my advice to you is just ask yourself what the fuck you're doing. What are YouTubers doing? Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. This wasn't meant to be an insult or anything. It's tough love. I'm just trying to help those that are, you know, trying to learn off my videos. I don't like the fact that people discredit my videos for no sense of learning, and you can't learn anything off watching my videos because that's not my intention. I do like helping people learn. I've made guides. I've done so many things. I used to make tons and tons and tons of guides. But eventually, it's just, especially when you get at a top level, it's just meaningless. Like, 
you need to learn on your own. You need to question yourself. You need to push yourself, right? You can't just expect the answers to be given to you, right? Anyways, um... <laughs> How do people not realize? <laughs> Damn you, Jonathan! Um, but I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a video a like. Consider subscribing for more content like this. Um, let me know your thoughts in the little rant there. Uh, again, I wasn't meant to, meaning to insult anybody, any creators or anything by any means. Everyone's good at their own thing. But that's just my perspective. And anyways, I will see you next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.